Hi there. I wanted to share with you something that I thought was pretty cool. A few years ago, I modeled a Tesla Model S in SolidWorks. I did it mostly as a learning exercise and something for a little bit of fun. Shortly after I uploaded the video to YouTube, I was contacted by an application engineer in Germany called uh, Thomas Giese. And he wanted to get the file, the step file, so he could mill a copy out of aluminium. So this is the result he came back with. And it's really quite impressive. This is a small scaled down version, but you can see the details there are still visible. Uh, they're quite fine details on like the headlights, the rims and the windows. And it's interesting because I actually 3D printed a couple units on some high quality laser and powder printers, but the small details were still lost. So it shows how um, impressive CNC machines can really be. So I uploaded a tutorial video, uh, you can check the link in this video description for that. And if you're interested in learning how I modeled this, that video might be of interest to you. You can also access the CAD files. So I've uploaded the SOLIDWORKS files and the STEP files. Uh, the files are free, they're just on a, a shared Google Drive link. And if, if you'd like, you could uh, send me a small donation just to help out with the channel and help me make some more videos in the future. So Thomas was an application engineer from AM Engineering. Uh, you can see his website in the video description link. And they do some um, CAD CAM training for uh, machinists and engineers. So in this video here, we see the uh, rough out, uh, outline of the shape being milled with a, a larger milling bit. And as I said, this is done on a five axis CNC machine, which has uh, three degrees of freedom in the X, Y, Z axis. So it can move up and down, left and right, back and forward. There are some of the uh, coordinate coordinates are uh, being shown on the screen there. And it also can rotate the base uh, in two directions. So this allows the fine details to be milled out. And as you can see here, the milling bit has been swapped to something more fine to finish off the very small details of the model. So a five axis machine is necessary to allow the milling bit to get to every surface on the model. With a, a car, for example, we have a lot of organic smooth surfaces and some undercuts, and it's necessary uh, to have those two rotational degrees on the base to really allow the milling bit to get to the unit from all angles. The downside is uh, five axis machines are quite expensive. So the cost to produce one of these pieces was approximately between 500 and 1,000 US dollars. And I believe this was actually done as a demonstration piece to show the capabilities of the company in this machine. So I'll just let the rest of this clip play out for the remainder of the video. Um, if you like this, please like and subscribe to the channel. Uh, I do have a very cool project that I'm working on coming up. I think I'm gonna release a small design series on that. So stay tuned for that and Thanks for watching.